Hello and welcome back to Ebsworth Street. So it's been a little bit of a while since I've actually done a video. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my log cabin. Uh, I'm actually in my front room in the house. Um, and just behind me, you can see a box. Well, it wasn't just one box. It was two, full of Tim Horn baseboards. So the curves have arrived. It's now time for me to start building them and then get Gordon's Lane in a roundy roundy. But what I will do now is I'll take you back up into the log cabin and I'll show you what I've been doing on the uh, layout. So here we are, let's go and have a look in the log cabin and see what I've done up until now. So as you can see here, what I've actually done is I've put some masking tape around the sides uh, and then I've laid the ballast down with my hands and then used a brush um, to give you that nice smooth um, and finish. What I'm gonna do now is as you can see, there's a little bit on the sleeper. So all I do is I just brush it through um, until the sleepers then become a little clearer. And as you can see there, it doesn't look too bad. And obviously that all I do is just rub my finger down the center of the track. And then it means then you've got the, uh, you can then actually see all the sleepers and a definition of what I'm trying to achieve. Um, exactly the same thing with the cable trunk in, and once it gets to the end there, and we'll just cover it over, and it looks like it. Then it goes down underneath the track. Well, here is another three boards of Gordon's Lane. Um, not completely finished yet, and as you can see, it's a little bit busy down that end. Um, I'm not quite happy with it. I think it looks a bit too cramped, too busy, which is going to obviously take away from it. But then, you can bear in mind, I've got all this along this side, and then this is when the hill starts there. So you've got a two-function type layout. Um, so as you can see, there is what one of the signals will look like. Um, the track work, some of the uh, back scenes and uh, low relief buildings are being put in. Um, I've even managed to paint the front of the pelmet just in case it goes to a show on the 1st of August. Um, so just in case it just needs to be tarted up a little bit, I've managed to do it. Now, this signal here um, is one of Roger Murray's um, signals, uh, which he built for an old layout that used to belong to a Moderado club called Horton. Um, you can buy these from Absolute Aspects. Matt is very good, very knowledgeable um, with signals. Um, and obviously this is the standard that they come out as at, at, at in. You know, this is fantastic. So I've, these, this one and this building here are all scratch built. Um, and as you can just see just there, there's some cable trunking. Um, I still got quite a fair bit to do. Um, so here is a couple more kits from various peoples. Um, these two here, I got off of um, eBay, um, which wasn't too bad. Uh, you can just see another signal just over there. Uh, and you've got another signal just over there. Um, and obviously you, there's quite a fair bit going on down this end. 
which I don't know if it's going to make it too busy or too cramped. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have this here. Um, I was tempted to have one like this going the full length. But what I'm actually tempted to do is I'm actually tempted to take that away and actually bring the hill um, come down to give it a bit of greenery, to give it some bit of like light green down this end. Um, I've got a limit of shunt to go in along here somewhere, um, but I'll do that once I've ballast the track. So for tonight's job, it's going to be ballasting this, getting that in place, um, drilling the hole um so that i can get the signal as close to the um the structure as possible um that's where ideally i want the signal to go as close to there um so if you're looking from down the side of turning around um which you probably might be able to see because it's in the wrong sort of position but if i just move the, the crane that when you do look down the side um, you'll be able to see the signal going into the um, footer yard or around the new part of the layout. So, yeah, I'm really pleased um, how the scenery and how this has come out so far. Um, still got quite a fair bit to do. Uh, I've got a buff bit of track to put in, buff stop wire up there. Uh, got some feeds to put in there um, and I've still got some cables and that to be built um, and then obviously decide on what I'm going to be doing but that view it just looks amazing I really want to get a camera uh, and maybe do that with the next next video maybe try and get a, a camera rigged up somehow um, to give you that overview but as you can see there there's been quite a fair bit of progress done onto Gordon's Lane. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what is happening now. So I've been a little bit busy. Uh, I finally laid the track around the curves. The only thing I've got left to do is the boring joints, as you can just see here. I've used a solder and screw effect, which obviously you can just see here. Um, and what I've done with this end is obviously that goes onto the back of one of the baseboards for the main scenic section, um, which obviously I've managed to do. So I've got three joints, um, which obviously this is part of the filly yard end, middle of the curve, and then round to the front of the scenic section, which is here. So I've got three joints to do. Um, these are from Tim Horn Baseboards. Thanks very much again, Tim. Um, I can't wait to get the trains running. So what I've decided to do is crack on, do some more scenery work. So I've ballasted, weathered, um, placed some more buildings in place. Obviously I've got a signal down there. I've got the substation pot popped in here. A um, couple more of the back buildings put, being put on. Obviously glued those into place now. Uh, another building there um, going down. So all of it is now all weathered 
nicely all the tracks being weathered a lot of little bits of scenery that i've been added in and little bits of detail um, i've still got a third rail to do yet um, but i'll do that once i know all the track circuits up and running and what it's going to look like so um i'll pan out you'll be able to see what it looks like down like the business end and obviously then from that section onward goes green.